Wow, so, um, yeah, this is kind of awkward. I'm, I'm just trying to search for parts to renovate our Star League Highlander, and the thing that I, I thought was going to pop up earlier, it, it pops up now. So, this is a random event. It's not that random, but it, it's an event that was created by the Flashpoint campaign. The, this is what allows us to get more of the Flashpoints. I, I haven't been showing you any of the random. Maybe I've showed you one or two, but yeah, random event. Anyways, Mystery Box. Yang calls you to the mech lab where you find him standing in the shadow of an enormous ferro-aluminum crate. I don't think the bounty hunter realized what he gave us, boss. What we've got is one-third of a mothballed assault mech. Mostly the guts, so it doesn't look like much to the untrained eye, but what I can tell you is that this mech is strange. I've never seen anything quite like it. Fair raises her hand. And I think I have a lead on the Dobrev. An old colleague of mine contacted me about a group of patients at the hospital she administrates. They were suffering from what appeared to be a misjump induced injury. I think it's worth investigating. Sumire rubs her temples. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I've got one too. A jump ship operator I used to hang with has been running his mouth about a big job he just did for Notker Bowman. Want me to follow up? And so we can either follow Farah's lead about the, um, the misjump injuries or Sumire's lead. I'm going to take her lead because it mentions... This one just seems more realistic. Some guy like, you know, it just, just seems more promising chasing after Notker Bowman. I, I wanna I wanna kinda go after the source. Plus, you know, if we can beat up Notker Bowman and take some of his money, hey, more power to us. So that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this one. You nod at Sumire. Okay, Meyer, your lead sounds promising. Follow up on it. For the time being, this is your top priority. Later she calls you to the bridge. You find her standing by the view screen, a weary half smile on her face. Found it. Long story, I'd rather not get into it. Whiskey and cigars were involved, but the Dobrev is on Apian. What is Apian? Apian is a system that features a lush, fertile Terran world called Omen. Every attempt to colonize Omen has failed, and the planet is littered with ruins. The sole inhabitants are researchers in a small station who are trying to piece Omen's, pierce Omen's secrets. Well, appropriate name for the world. I've marked it on the star map already. We can get going whenever you want. You not. Good work, Samire. Our hunt for the Dobrev is back on, thanks to you. She rolls her eyes. <laughs> Don't remind me. New flashpoint added. Apian. Okay, so looks like um, we, uh, we can now continue the flashpoint campaign. That is... Not what I was expecting to do. Not what I was expecting to do at all. So, um, the Highlander is currently uh, under construction. Unfortunately, we don't have all of the pieces to restore it to its former glory. However, uh, in between, you know, me just kind of doing random missions, I wound up picking more of its original components, just kind of grabbing them as I play the game, than I remembered. So, it's actually in better condition that or it's actually shaping up a lot better than i thought in fact the the uh the work on it should be finishing up very soon and you'll get to see sort of the progress on it right there I wrapped up that job oh for, Commander. the volkovite martyrs you and darius have finished okay this is another one of those random events have finished networking for new contracts on Eurus and are walking through a farmer's market with maverick who is on shore leave a street preacher suddenly appears at your elbow have you heard the good word of the Volkovites? He presses a pamphlet in your hands, emblazoned with a styled V. The preacher studies the insignia on your gear. You, you were there when the Capellan stormtroopers descended on the great martyrs. Looking around, you see the same stylized V on numerous necklaces, patches, and even into a young woman's rifle butt. The crowd has grown quite attentive. Um, so it looks like this one we can't do because... It's uh, our character. So the pilots have attributes, and we need the attribute athletic for this. And uh, yeah. Um, so we could either say that we were there, or we could tell them that we've got the wrong mercenaries. What this tells me is that both of these are probably not going to turn out very well, and that this is the one you wish that you did. But let's see if we could, like, pull the wool over their eyes. Probably not. We'll tell them that they've got the wrong mercenaries. The confused preacher makes a half-hearted argument about your identity before giving up and moving down the street with his pamphlet. The rest of the crowd hums for a moment longer, disappointed at the lack of conflict, but then continues with their business in the market. Darius 
breathes a sigh of relief. Commander, we may or may not have made the right decision about the Volkovites, but they're Lady Liao's problem now, not ours. Best to stay out of this as best we can. Okay, I guess we got fortunate. Okay, as I was saying, let's head over to the Mech Bay, and we can see the progress on the Highlander. So, I guess we can just talk a little bit about the Highlander while we're here. So, the, um, if, 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 come on, there we go. So, the Highlander is incomplete, uh, but we do, but it is actually, it's, to say it's incomplete is kind of unfair. It's actually mostly complete. The Highlander, though, is easily identified by, if I swing him around, it's very square-shaped head, and also it's just a really, also a very large, boxy battle mech, and just very easily recognized for the rectangular kind of like, almost like a weird visor-shaped cockpit, as well as its rather large arm cannon. And that's because this is the classic, the traditional Highlander armed with a Gauss rifle. The first time you're going to be able to see this in the game, well, assuming I deploy it in this battle. But the Gauss rifle is basically a battle mech sniper rifle, and it has the distinctive feature that it basically generates no heat. It only generates five heat, which is very close to no heat at all. And that means that this weapon can fire pretty much every turn. And the way the Highlander would utilize this is that it was a, it's a large battle mech that actually is still equipped with jump jets. And so because the jump jets, the, okay, bigger mechs need bigger jump jets that weigh more and the, the thrusters generate more heat. But this allowed, despite it being a 90 ton mech, and this mech is not, it's not a fast mech. It is, this, it has a weaker engine so it can carry more weaponry. And it's designed to be kind of like a heavy sniper. And to that extent, we actually have the many of the original weapons. We have the Gauss rifle, which deals 80 damage at very close to... I think there's only one weapon that has longer range than it, and that's any of the AC-2s. But it has an extremely long range, and it's known for its high armor penetration. So in the game, in this particular game, it represents it by... Out of its 80 damage, 75 is dealt as armor damage, and 5 is always dealt as structure damage, which is basically like the muscle material, the guts, the internal functioning, the organs, so to speak, of the battle mech inside. And it also, all, obviously, it's like you're firing just a giant metal bullet at them, so it does a lot of stability damage. But in addition to that, the Highlander also carries an LRM-20 in its uh, side torso. I went ahead and added in the highest quality I can with extra damage, because this guy is going to be all about just hammering people with massive damage. Its other arm carries an SRM-6. Once again, went for a very high-quality one with plus 4 damage per missile, so it's doing 12 damage per missile, so quite a bit, like massive damage for such a small weapon. And then it has a laser bank on its other torso, so it's gotten a laser array of three medium lasers, and I went from the best lasers that we've got available, 10 damage more, so 35 damage up from 25, so overall, looking really good. What we're missing, though, so uh, we have 82 of the 90 tons filled out. What we're missing on this mech is the actual ammunition for the Gauss rifle. So, I mean, without that, it's it's not too good. We also don't have assault-class jump jets, so we don't have any jump jets that will fit. You know, we need bigger jump jets. So like, if I click here to jump, there's nothing here. I got to buy some. And then, unfortunately, we simply don't have the Star League technology double heat sinks. Normally, this mech would be equipped with uh, six double heat sinks. Double heat sinks are lost tech. They weigh just as much as a normal. So a normal heat sink is one ton, and it sinks three heat per turn. Double heat sinks also weigh one ton, but they sink six heat. So they're twice as good, but they only weigh one ton, but they're bulkier. They take up three slots instead of one. So, you know... It's still, they're still super good. And it still has an incredible 1,400 armor. And uh, the firepower is also substantial. 372 damage on an alpha strike. It'd be kind of hard to strike with all of the weapons, though, because it is a rather a general battle mech that, that, that has weapons for a variety of ranges rather than being a focused battle mech. But as I'm saying, let's go ahead and continue our pathway towards... The planet, and let's see if they if we can actually get some of the equipment that we need. Uh, we're stopping here because I think they have a, I forget what they have here. I think they have a research facility here, which means they should sell us better stuff. Also, there is a um, 
There's a flashpoint here. I'm not sure if I want to do this or the next primary flashpoint, but let's hit the store real quick to see if we can continue restoring our, uh, what do you call it, Highlander. So we have a lost tech weapon here. I'm just going to buy it just automatically. Coil M, don't care if New I use it or not. Uh, Snub PPC, going to buy it just automatically. Um, Narc Beacon, buy that auto. I, I just New bought If it's systems. lost tech, I'm Available. picking it up. Let's see, do they have Gauss Rifle Ammo? It looks like they do not, unfortunately, which means we're going to have to... Means that the uh, Actually, let me buy some NARC ammo while we're here. Uh, it looks like we just won't be able to feel... Okay, here we go. Jump Jet Assault. So we could buy... Here we can buy and install the, the Jump Jets that we want. Let's go ahead and do that. Put these into the Highlander and add its... Give it its jump capability that it very much deserves to have if it will load. There, there we go. So here we see, now we can see these are here. So these jump jets, they weigh two tons. So the, the lightest jump jets, I think they're half a ton. So these ones are two tons. So, you know, they're just a heavier, just a heavy duty kind of jump jet. But, you know, what can you do? And now with these added, there's only two tons remaining. And those two tons are for the Gauss rifle. Because what we can do, we can click this little button here and this will tell us what the, the Highlander was originally equipped with. And we can see here, right, Gauss ammo, or Gauss ammo, right here and here. And, yeah. Unfortunately, Highlander's still not operational yet. Right. You know, its main I'll weapon it got no ammunition to sling. So, kind of a sad face there, but I, I don't know. Let me think about whether we're going to do this Flashpoint or if we're going to continue with the other one. We're probably going to do this one because we're here. And remember, these are time-sensitive but I'm gonna check the. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna check some things. Hold on a second, boys. All right, boys. So super sad face. The um, the mission takes us way far away. Twenty nine days out, and that is. Uh, let me let me turn this off. No filter, so that doesn't distract me. It, it it's the only flashpoint out over here, and unfortunately, all of the flashpoints are over here right now. So I just don't see it as a good idea to go back there and double back. So I think what we want to do is just start knocking out these right here. So. Um, I guess let's just answer this flashpoint. Uh, Criminal Minds, a three skull one, so we should just be able to trash these guys. Like, we are well beyond a three skull difficulty. I might try to find a way to kind of compact some of these missions together, but maybe not yet. I'll have to think about how I want to do that. Medium length, consecutive deployments, an uncommon weapon will be our reward. Our opposing force are some bandits. Uh, these are our, you know, one of our better clients, a maxed out friendship with the with uh, the Capellan Confederation. House Liao requires your assistance in dismantling a prominent crime syndicate. Working in concert with Capellan ground forces, you will capture the opposing forces personnel and seize their financial assets. I love seizing some financial assets. Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and begin. Criminal Minds, high orbit over Yuri's. Um, Commander, I've invited you here on behalf of Sub-Commander Boris Tianyu of the Liao Reserves. His unit has requested the assistance with a small task in Yuri's Ivory Crescent province, and I have offered him your help. You will be well compensated for your efforts, of course. Okay, Liao Reserves. The Liao Commonalities Provincial Defense Force. Key members include Vincent's commandos acting under Colonel Samantha Vincent and Trimaldi's secutors acting under Colonel Harrison Trimaldi. Uh, Yuri. Or Yuris, Yuris, Yuris. Originally a Star League staging ground, Yuris has long has a long and bloody history of urban conflict with various resistance groups. Despite this, in the lush rural regions, many industries prosper. The Ivory Crescent Province, an agrarian province known for its crystal clear water, fertile soil, and relative isolation. The Ivory Crescent Province serves as the home of many of Yuri's political and social elites who view the province as an oasis of stability and peace on an otherwise violent world. Okay? Sounds acceptable to us, Lady Marina. Then I will take my leave of you. Subcommander Tianyu, the comms are yours. Oh, great. Here we go. Another, like, lackey that we're dealing with. Last time, it didn't go too well. Let's see how this one goes. Lady Marina, Lady Marina Liao's image flickers and disappears. Seconds later, a mech warrior in an emerald green Nura helmet appears on your screen. So, you are what Lady Marina Liao has sent me. I suppose that I shouldn't be surprised. The CCAF is being stretched as thin as it is. Proper Capellan military support was probably too much to hope for. 
Uh, yeah, it's nice to meet you too. Tell us what you need, Subcommander. There is a man, Brant Shiraj, Sh Sh Shivraj. He is a courier for Yuri's most prominent crime lord, the Iron Sparrow. Your company will eliminate Mr. Shiraj, Shivraj and his bodyguard, and then extract the information he was carrying from the wreckage. You will then convey that intel to me. Do you understand? Yeah, it's an assassination mission. This isn't our first rodeo, Boris. I'll try to remember that. Tianyu out. Ah, uh, just like uh, with the Combine. I mean, you might be thinking, these guys are a bunch of douches, but like, one thing to remember is that nor these, these mech warriors are all nobles. They're all basically knights. Like, these mech warriors are not just like people, they're not just like normal people who join the military. Like, normal people, they're going to be, like, infantry. They might be, like, tank commanders and stuff like that. But, like, battle mech pilots, mech warriors, are typically going to be nobles. So, when they see, like, mercenaries kind of polluting their battlefield, it's like they did, everyone turns their nose up. It, mercenaries? Well, he's a charmer. Bet you five sea bills he's going to try to screw us over somehow. Nah, I don't think we have to worry about that. Tianyu wouldn't want to risk getting on Marina Liao's bad side. That's the theory, anyway. One way or another, we'll find out soon enough. All right, so Criminal Minds Part 1, assassination mission in the Highlands. Something tells me it's not going to go exactly the way we think it is. You know, there's no way we're just going to assassinate the guy and bing, bang, bada, boom, and be done with it. Uh, because it's only a three skull, I'm not expecting very good salvage, so I'm leaning more into the money. So we only have one pick, five random. Commander, find and eliminate Iron Sparrow's courier and his bodyguard. I want, okay, so yeah, obviously it's going to take multiple missions. I want Shivraj dead and whatever intelligence he's carrying in my hands. Keep straightforward enough, Fox. Get in there and make it happen. Here is our team. Uh, because it's a Highland, Highlands are very hilly and they have a lot of wood. So I was thinking about taking an LRM team. But what I just realized is that this is the perfect battle for the crab. What makes the crab so suited for this is if you have the breaching shot. Remember the rule of breaching shot is you ignore defensive bonuses as long as you shoot one weapon. Well, the ultra auto cannon fires twice, even though it counts as a one weapon. So you fire the ultra AC-20 at one enemy, and you're still doing 200 damage, ignoring their armor. And you can split it between two targets. So the king crab is basically the ultimate bunker buster. It's like, it benefits from being in heavy cover, and it still crushes enemies in heavy cover. Uh, I, I, everyone's going to want to turn in the Annihilator, I know it. So Junior uh, is going to be going in the Annihilator. Lensver Maverick is going to be in the Cyclops, going to be using the Cyclops' speed to scout and recon. And um, Deadlock, it will be sniping with the Stalker, still granting us some ability to use missiles and i'm hoping the two of them will be able to knock some of these enemies down so that we don't have to spend all of our points on uh, defending etc no i don't know if that's going to be a problem on three skulls anyways i'll see you on the battlefield welcome to the battlefield boys timely arrival commander fox my people have eyes on mr shivraj and his uh bodyguard put them to death swiftly without mercy the Iron Sparrow's cat's paws deserve nothing less. What's wrong, Tianyu? You afraid to fight me yourself? You're a pathetic little man. And when I'm done with your hirelings, I'll turn my guns on you. You have your orders, Commander. Do not disappoint me, Tianyu out. Well, at least they're roughing him up instead of me. So let's see. Looks like the boss man is over here. And the, okay, it looks like it's just going to be a straight collision. As you can see, tons of woods. This is where it really pays to have uh, battle mechs that are good inside of heavy cover okay it looks like we didn't detect anyone that's fine i was expecting to actually collide with them on the first turn but that's that's not a big deal to me i'm oh look at this we could spread right cover to cover all right we've got our enemies and um i want to keep the annihilator in the back so we'll just position ourselves like that um Lensver also has the ability to get into cover, so he he's defensive and he's fast, so also very nice. Same with the uh, the Stalker. No need to jeopardize the Stalker. Both of these assault mechs are a little thin on armor, so, you know... Okay, attacking from two directions. An interesting choice. Uh, I want them to get closer. I'd like them to... So I'm just going to reserve down, let all of them move. Okay. A 65-ton mech, a 45-ton mech, well, 
I mean, I don't. I, I'm not saying I was expecting more, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, well, you guys have like pretty much no chance. I just want to get a visual on these guys. A shadow hawk, an unknown mech. Uh, the catapult looks like a pretty good target, though it is in pretty heavy cover. I don't have a super clean shot on it either. No, I'm just going to run closer, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover and run. I, I think we're just going to focus on getting into position. Over here. And then we'll hunker down. I just I, We just don't have any good shots, so I'm going to tank up. And once again, we'll probably give up our... Are, that's what's nice about the Cyclops. We have the choice if we want to move early or late. And right now, I think I want to move You're late. Like, I just, I don't want to move and then it winds up they're still, you know, in too heavy of cover to, for us to do anything. Also, this Phoenix Hawk, too far away to really do much of anything. The other thing is that the uh, I want the Cyclops, not the Cyclops, I want their catapult to uh, shoot. I want the catapult to not be in heavy cover. Come on. Light damage. I want it to be my turn. Come on. Skip. Skip. Everybody. Come on forward. You know. Come on. Come on. Some kind of auto cannon and some LRMs. Interesting. Could be a Centurion. Probably a missile's coming in. But the, uh, the Cyclops can handle it. 75 to okay so they did bring a bigger mech okay that makes me feel a little better feels like i wasn't wasting my time so here's exactly what i'm talking about so right here i have a, a 90 percent shot on the shadowhawk but look it's got uh 40 percent defensive bonuses and i've got an 80 percent shot on this catapult so i could just split my shot up like this and attack both of them for some really huge damage like we get to completely ignore their defenses just like this so, targets. both hit. Fatality. Well, I got a lucky headshot and just instantaneously destroyed him. That is one of the threats of the AC-20. The AC, anytime, okay. You haven't seen the AC-20 used against us too often, but in the back of my head, I always know there's like a 1 or 2% chance that the AC-20 is just going to connect with the cockpit and just instantaneously kill the pilot. There's always that it can always happen, we and in this case, it happened to him. So over here, as you can see, we have a look at this. The, the AC-20 nearly destroyed all of its center torso armor. There's only 15 armor center torso, and so this has created an oh opening. God. And this is what another thing I love about AC-20 is that even though the shot was a little bit random, it now means we've got this great opportunity to break this mech's leg and knock his defenses out. What is it? It's on his left side. Okay. I'm just gonna move. Uh, maybe I can move like this. Can I get slightly? I don't. I think that's the best we can do. Yeah, I think that's the best we can do. Position confirmed. I'm gonna see if we can destroy this battle max leg. Yeah, we'll take a 48% uh, a shot on the leg. I'm even gonna fire the LRM because 50% uh, is honestly not that bad. Didn't quite get it, unfortunately. Still thought it was worth a shot. The leg survived with two structure. Oh, man. Super sad face. Let's go ahead and um, just fire full guns. One of these missiles are going to hit the leg. Or it might just core the mech out immediately. One of the two. Battle mech finally goes down. Critical hit. But what I'm probably going to do, I, I don't think I'm actually going to try and finish it off. And that's because our initiative is pretty good next turn. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Standing by. Sounds like I am getting messages on silly old Facebook, which is annoying. Um, never mind. I am just going to finish it off. I lied about that. And that's because I don't have any other good shots. Uh, let's fire three. Firing. Good. That was good enough. But you, maybe you can see what I mean, that the, uh, it doesn't matter. You think you're in cover, but you're not. Not with the King Crab. The King Crab, it will dig you out of your cover. 
And then it also has very close to 1900 armor, so. Yeah. That must be Brat Shivraj. Hit the commander. Um, my job is to attack big targets, so I wait. Let's let their um, let's let whatever that I'm might be come forward. Watch out. That was a big fat miss. Well, wow, how do you miss the king crab? I guess by having like horrendous aim. I feel like that's like an LRM 10 or 15. I was still not sure what kind of battle mech we're looking at. Ah, uh, yes, now I can get closer. The Orion is in cover, but as we've established, that's not really that big of a deal. Uh, because I could still do 200 damage to him. Like, uh, and so we're seeing the big payoff of bringing the, um, the King Crab into this battle. Like, we're able to just completely negate this at massive advantage. Big damage there and there. Um, how do we want to deal with this guy? I believe we will scan in order to sink. We're going to sink some heat. Scan. Receiving you. And we will just. I think we're just going to open fire on this guy. All weapons are go. Big damage on the side. Inflicted some heavy damage. Get a damage report. Oh yeah, this mech is almost Thank down. You. Let's see if we can get Lensver to finish it off. Preferably in a way that doesn't allow him to get flanked. Aye, aye. I, I, I think the Orion will have some trouble. Yeah, I don't think the Orion would be able to easily flank the Cyclops, so I think we're fine there. Go ahead and let him have it. Aye, aye. Not quite enough. Looks like it managed to survive, just barely hanging on. Attacking me in the rear armor still, even the Rick King Crab's rear can take some damage. Brat Shivraj really not helping his allies very much. Damage minimal. And I am... Can I get a shot on them both? It doesn't look like I can face them at the same time. So instead, I'm just going to go probably like this. And what I'll do now, we're going to fire them alternately. We see the accuracy difference. That's due to the recoil. I'm just going to fire them alternatingly since we don't really, you know, like we want to continue ignoring his defenses. Engaging target. We're through something. I saw the orange numbers. Oh. Not a, not a bad idea. Goes into melee combat. And, uh, oh, God, the knockdown on this mech is really bad. Uh, let's see here. Waiting for orders. Good to go. Maverick, can you finish? I want you to finish this guy off, if possible. Actually, I think I just want you to punch this guy. Can you do it? You cannot get in the mail. Okay. That's... How about right here? Location confirmed. Don't know what that battle mech is. Let's spend some of our initiative just to get a better shot here. Um, I think I'm going to take his leg, All if I can. Go. Nope, the Phoenix Hawk is still holding on. I'm, not, I'm just not too worried about rear damage from these little, like, incidental missiles. These guys are being really stubborn, which is annoying. Are any of us... Are we too close or something? Like, why Why is he... This mech is so unusually evasive. Okay, I, I don't care. I'm just going to spend some points, too. I just want him out of here. Copy that. I, I don't care. I just want him dead. I'm so sick. He's just surviving so many hits. Good to go. Location. Right, take, take him. Out. Let him have it. Roger that. Much up. Oh, so much more resistant to the annihilator's attacks due to its armor, or due to its defensive benefits. However, we're still able to knock it down. A few missiles peppering the king crab. Nothing it can't handle. Look at this. Rear attacks and everything. Even the melee attack armor is still, like, more than capable of holding. So in this case, we're just going to, like... I'm just going to, like, fire all guns and, like... Oh, wait, never mind. I forgot I was going to overheat. I, we're just going to try to drill through his center door so it would take him out. 
Looks like one of our shots didn't hit center torso, which is why we got. I uh, oh, company. Where'd those guys come from? Who's that guy? Oh, we destroyed one of its legs. That was that was not intended. Commander. Okay, let's. I want you to go over and search for these guys. I want I want you to find out way. who these guys Double are. Time. Standing by. Finish this guy. Actually. Get closer as well. You might as well start preparing because, like, the, the one, the, the reason I was kind of hesitant about the annihilator is because I knew the hills would interfere with its aim a bit. Like, the annihilator needs really clean lines of fire. Oh, we destroyed both legs rather than pouring it out. Wow, that's so weird. That is so weird. Stalker, not a fast mech. Not a fast mech in the slightest. Okay, I guess I am going to go around. The trees are going to slow me down, so I'm just going to kind of go this way. Our crab definitely needs double heat sinks in order to better make use of its weapons, but those lo those valuable lost tech items are currently beyond us at the moment. Uh, can't sprint, but if, like, the forest is slowing us down massively. There we go. Get a visual on them. Here's our target. Bron is in a Orion. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna tank up just because he's his defenses are too high. Waiting for orders. Gonna just get closer. Affirmative. That's all that matters is getting closer right now. His bodyguard is a shadow hawk. Nothing to write home about. Systems holding. Oh yeah, I see. He has a bodyguard. It even says it right there. Oh, you wouldn't happen to enjoy a little bit of um AC-20, would you? Oh my god! Ignored his defenses and instantaneously destroyed his leg. Oh my god, AC-20 just rocks enemies apart. And the other shot went center torso, meaning this guy is basically toast. In fact, I'm gonna see if I can back up a little bit and have Lensver finish him off. On it. Oh my god! We, we can't fight! These guys keep escaping! What? How much armor does he have left? Oh! He survived on seven. Super sad face. Not, sad, not happy. Go ahead and launch one volley of LRMs to finish it up. Target neutralized. Now you can probably see why I was debating about whether I should take, um... A team of all Hitting out. missile mechs, just because like I knew that the, I had a feeling the hills would become a problem. Oh, I can't walk up this. Oh, I'm super sad. Okay, let's let his mech move. We'll see what he does. Maybe he'll get. Oh, did he just come out of cover? That sure seems like a bad idea. You you don't you didn't want to do that. That was that was ungood. That that was ungood. Okay, I'm gonna let my the other mechs kind of uh, chip away at him to knock his uh, his, uh, his evasion down a bit. Where can we go? Like right here? Nah. Let's close the distance. On my way. No LRMs. This will knock some of his evasion off. Commander. Can we get a cleaner shot than this? Yes, right here. On the move. Got a beautiful shot right here. All guns fire. Solid. Let's see how much knockdown we get. Quite a bit, about three bars. And I'm just gonna go kind of like right here and like hammer this guy down full guns. Oh no, another headshot. It's the, oh my god, that, I don't know if that would change the story or not, but we kind of just, like, instantaneously killed him. Like, he's kind of dead. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll affect the story at all, but still. All targets are sit tight, I can collect you where you are right now. Inadequate performance. Your lance is to be commended, Commander. My information technologist will analyze the courier's black box and, prov and provide you with the coordinates of your next target. Tell them not to drag their feet. We don't get paid by the hour. They are CCF soldiers, Mr. Oliviera. Their efficiency is beyond question. Now I suggest that you clear the line and prepare your lance. 
They will be deploying immediately. Good hustle, Sub Commander Boris. Our people will be ready. Mission Maybe a successful. bit a little bit uncalled for, Mr. Olivier. You know, like I felt Boris was kind of toning things down. Well, we got an extra 25% cash on the, just for destroying his forces. They're just kind of in the way. I mean, I had, yeah, I was just going to take them out anyways. Here's the kill board. Lensver just could not sneak any kills in there. I mean, it was pretty like, uh, it was a battle mainly for armor penetration, to be completely honest. It's why the King Crab, like, battered things down so badly with the, uh, the, uh, breaching shot. But overall... You know, I mean, what were you expecting from three skulls? I wasn't expecting much. So the salvage, not looking too exciting. Gonna spring for this arm mod here, just for, like, collecting, you know, slightly advanced components. What do we get? We get a catapult as a... a so we do one more piece of the catapult, and we can flip a mech, you know, sell it for a few, about a million C, a few million C-bills. Wouldn't be too bad. Interesting. Looks like we have uh, consecutive deployments. Completely forgot about that. So, I mean, I think we might as well just... Like, let's just try to p push through some of these missions. So, capture the base, Highland, um... Okay, the intel we got from Iron Sparrow's courier points here to the warehouse you'll find just ahead. Take it for House Liao until the reserve unit arrives to relieve you. According to Sub-Commander Tianyu, the warehouse should be full of mining equipment, generators, churn drills, that sort of thing. Nothing we'd be interested in, but worth a lot to the right people. So, the team will be, once again, we're in a Highlands mission, so I will be sending in the King Crab to lead the attack. We are a sieging a base, so I am bringing the uh, the Annihilator basically to destroy their defenses. Being able to, I specifically have someone who can multi-target here so they can spread the shots across multiple turrets. Asilla will be in the Cyclops, able to scan our targets as a recon as a heavy-duty reconnaissance mech, and Snaky Assassin is going to be going in the Black Knight, joining the King Crab in the close assault. Time to capture us a base full of boring stuff. This is the place, Commander. The Iron Spear's warehouse lies just ahead of you. Its content's ripe for the picking. I want you to advance on that warehouse, surveil it, Engage the Iron Sparrow's forces and claim the facility for House Leah. Fight bravely, Commander. I'll be watching to ensure that you do. This guy, he just seems like he takes his job seriously. He doesn't seem like the guy that we were dealing with earlier. Anyways, I will get back to you as soon as we find something interesting. All right, here we are. The enemy has, well, we found each other, more or less. And we've got this really annoying rocky area that, um... It's gonna take me a moment to kind of get through. Also... A little worried about potentially having our, uh, you know, oh, I don't want to fall over, basically. I believe I'm going to let them come forward. Our evasion is pretty high, so I don't I don't see them getting any solid hits on us. Oh my god, look at their battle mechs are in t terrible condition. That is just terrible. Two Vulcans, interesting. I haven't seen Vulcans in a little while. That tells me that there's probably going to be a wave of reinforcements. I need to sprint through this stuff, like, so I'm gonna actually duck and cover here and just try to get through this. Need to just get through this rocky terrain. Rocky terrain slows you down and causes your mech to fall over a bit easier, so just not not what I'm looking to have happen. Um, what, are, what, what is my shot accuracy on these guys? Not super great. So I believe what I'm gonna have is... I'm gonna have Scylla probably scan one of these guys. Moving to position. Is it just a bunch of Vulcans? Is it four Vulcans? Is that what the target is? Center lock. Got a lock. Lighting the way for the yeah. Annihilator to most likely finish this off. I don't see this thing surviving. Heading out. Don't have a good shot on anything but this guy. Gonna fire, um... We'll fire a four. Excellent. Yeah, that's the end of him. No way he's gonna survive that. And I made sure that we're not overheating, so it's it's not too bad either. Let's get closer. The uh, the Black Knight is more than capable of bashing some of these guys. We've got the eyes on the facility boss. I'm seeing point defense turrets, but that should almost go without saying. I mean, it's Crime Lord, Secret Stash, of course, got turrets. The Irish Bear will certainly have other units in the area. Advance on the warehouse, but don't let them catch you off guard. Okay, so yeah, like I thought. The uh, enemy turrets are powering up, boss. Nothing's ever as easy as it should be. Nor should you complain when it isn't. Do your job. Wipe them out. You need to secure the area, Commander. Now, Boris, obviously, on a serious Sam kind of guy. Oh, stray shot. The shot that was intended to hit the King Crab hits the Annihilator instead. It's just tickling me. 
Like, the PPC is not enough to do to do significant damage to the King Crab. I'm gonna advance upon the base. Like, I'm too I'm too big to deal with these wimps. Oh, they brought a blackjack. What? What are you weak? Like your attacks do nothing to me. Damage minimal. Yeah. What can I do you for? Darn, so now I'm the one who takes the accuracy hit for this, but that's fine. Let's just disintegrate this guy. I'm gonna fire all just to ensure that we disintegrate him. And we did! Target eliminated. Such a weird combination. Oh no! They're ruining my aim even further! Why would you do this? Um. Right over here, I think I like this hit right here. Maybe we could smash through his leg. Engaging. Melee attacks ignore his evasion. Oh, the CQC suite! I forgot. He's got a he's got a bonus to his he's got a bonus to his uh, melee evasion. Okay. What do you need? All right, Scylla. I need you to like. Probably Smith. I need to. I don't know what you need to do, but you need to do something. Maybe just attack this turret. I don't know. Now nah, we'll leave me. I'll, I can handle the turrets. Um, can I bash one of these guys? I cannot even melee attack one of these guys. I don't know. Let's go right here, I guess. Confirmed. I just just shoot shoot this guy. Just do it for me. I don't care. It's, we're not gonna. It, it's like Roger. these guys are frustratingly evasive. Okay, the turrets are like, I guess they're gonna try and let me have it or something. Damage minimal. It's like they gotta stop the kaiju from attacking. They're like, no! Enemy attack! Stop it! Oh, okay, you can't hit me even though I'm not moving. Wow. Wow. Receiving you. Like, maybe you guys deserve it. That's kind of how I feel about it, to be honest. Um. No, I've got like terrible aim. No, I've got, I've been scanned by all their things. Whatever, just, just if we spray them, like spray and pray, boys. There we go. Who cares if our aim has been interfered with? Just shoot enough bullets and they'll go down. Yeah, you'll be fine though. Don't worry about it. Try aiming next time. See what you. Yeah. Can we? Can I? I want to bash this guy so bad. Just punch this guy. I don't care. It'll work. Do it. Do it. Smash this fool. We'll get lucky. There we go. Left leg destroyed. That ought to slow him down. Black Knight going into melee combat. You know, what, just like medieval combat right here. What do you need? Okay. Just finish him off. There we go. I've had enough of these fast-moving jerks. Good. Cleaning up these guys, and now it's my turn to lay waste to their defenses. No, I can't get closer to a split fire. Oh, I'm so sad. Um, I only need to fire one. It, it doesn't have 200. It, it, it's, it's armor is 150, structure 7. That doesn't add up to 200, so only one is needed. What will you do now? Heads up, Commander. Oh, you're gonna send in the, the reinforcements, so I guess they are... I guess they're gonna head in next to get eaten up. Oh, here they are! It's gonna be too late, though. I've come to feast on your base. Too late. There we go. Eat up these turrets! Yeah, eat them up! Gimme, gimme! <laughs> I'm eating up the turrets! Target destroyed. Oh, yes. And now they're scanning me. No! I need my aim. Aim is important to this yep. character. Okay. So I need you to go over here and start Roger. working on reconning these guys. Black Knight, you're going to follow up. Who's, sh who's shooting this crap at me? Uh, what was that? An HC-10 and a PPC? Was it a... Yes, command. What has that? It, uh, it feels like a cataphract. Man, look how far that was, no even target. though it was a heavy mech. I'm always impressed by the speed at which some of these guys can go. Gives the Annihilator a chance to sink its heat. What a miss. 
I'm gonna claim the. I need to claim the base. Yeah. Um, yeah. Scylla. Let's see what they've got. Let's see what these are. Let's move it up and got see. It. Uh, we have found a Wolverine, which is also not in great shape. Oh, let's just pepper it a little bit. Decent contact. Okay, he's taking, giving us a little bit of our own medicine. But this, uh, unlike them, we have uh, properly on, maintained our battle mix. Your order, Skipper? Need to get closer. The, the Black Knight is like, what are you cowards? Fight it farther than Good the close go. range? You cowards. Like, how dare you fight in this manner? I will get in the close Wait combat. The shot. Oh, okay, a grasshopper. Stray shot. I'm getting annoyed by them. I'm under heavy fire here. I'm, I, I have to eat up the last turret before I can go back. My job isn't done yet. Oh no! If we have a seven, that means one of them could miss! No! <laughs> it lived! Okay. Oh, looks like it is a cataphract. What's up, Commander? PJ, I need you to shoot somebody. That would be nice. Yeah, just shoot this guy, to be honest. Just let him have it. Yeah, didn't think that with mechs in such bad condition, it's, it's not going to work. Annihilator safely tucked in the back. Oh, and he missed it for turn. It's like, what? This thing has such... You need to upgrade the firmware on your turrets. I mean, come on. What is Ready this? Oh, yeah, it's what? The Annihilator gets to go ahead of some of these other people? Well, isn't that a shame for you guys? Location confirmed. Don't mind if I go ahead of you at all. Like, don't mind it one bit. Targeting for an alpha strike. Uh, so sad, you know, so sad when, like, the guy who should one be going at initiative top. one decides to instead go at initiative three. Aye, aye. Super sad. Confirmed. Go ahead and let this grasshopper have Confirmed. it. And they're sending, like, basically junk heaps at us. Hit. Uh, I mean, there's, that's the only way to describe it. These are basically junk heaps. Not in the best optimal range, but still. Like, don't forget, these medium pulse lasers do 45 damage. 40 to 45 damage, so, like... In fact, I'm just gonna pull a precision shot on the center torso. Even so, his center torso is only 33%, but, you know, it just means more than will hit center torso. Not quite enough to finish him off, unfortunately. I'm gonna... I need to eat this turret. I have come to eat... I still missed one shot! What?! Like, it's like crazy inaccuracy battles. What are you doing, Grasshopper? Shooting my precious Annihilator. What a jerk. I mean, we did get closer, but... Ready for orders. Get him! Confirmed. Get him! I'm on him. Ugh, that's what's frustrating about lasers. Even though all together they do a ton of damage, it's just they just splash all over the battle mech. Good to go. There we go. Now we just need to secure the warehouse. Now that we've cleared out their, like, trash heap mechs, like, good gravy. Okay, let's just get in here and secure it, and that should be the end of it. Done. A satisfactory job, Commander. I am pleasantly surprised. Gee, Subcommander Boris, thanks. I don't like your tone, Mr. Verton. And now, according to the Courier's Manifest, the warehouse should be full of valuable mining equipment. You will send your finest mechanics to catalog that equipment for me, and you will personally supervise them until the job is done. Yeah, sure, I'll get right on it. You will do this, and you will approach your task with the skill and efficiency that I expect from a CCAF veteran. Compile a manifest and leave everything else untouched. Tian Yu out. Mission successful. Very, uh, you know, that, that's the Capellan Confederation for you. Very strict. Here is the kill board. Look at me. I, clearly, I, I played the, the most important role, destroying the four turns. You know, like the rest of you slackers need to get with the program. The Annihilator, you know, just 
not doing anything valuable, don't even know why I brought it, you know, like, uh, Cyclops, you know, don't even know, what, what were you even doing? Like, Black Knight and King Crab, you know, like, Assassin and I, we did all the important stuff. Like, Scylla and Boss, like, you guys need to, like, really, you know, like, you're gonna get, like, if you ever expect to get a pay raise, or any pay, you're gonna have to pull your weight more than that. Okay, so, looking at the salvage, there's basically nothing. Like, these are all junk heaps. Like, they've got, like, basically garbage so like i don't even know i'm just gonna take the heavy max just because th these guys don't have anything good for me criminal minds part two high orbit over yuri's we're getting a message from yang on the surface commander he's marked it urgent uh-oh sounds like there might be a little more going on here hey uh boss you know how tianyu said that he wanted me to write up an inventory of the mining equipment in the warehouse and leave everything else untouched well we found something else in here the door to big ass underground vault Ballpark estimate, this thing stretches about 12 city blocks with multiple above ground entry points. I see. And you want to know whether you can open it. One step ahead of you there, Exo. I already did. We were under Tianyu's express instructions not to do that, Yang. Yeah, Exo, I know. But you know how I feel about authority figures in general, and the guy was a total dick. Really, there is no way I was not going to open up that vault. We'll talk about this later, Yang, pointedly, but for now, you may as well tell us what you found. A hell of a lot more than mining equipment, boss. I'm looking at a Star League era battle mech, Griffin class. It's partially stripped, but I can 100% guarantee you that I could work wonders. You're talking about stealing from our client, Yang. Really? Because I don't see it that way. We've got a recording of Sub Commander Boris saying that he wanted a vault full of machine tools. That was the job he hired us for, and he's welcome to them. I'll wrap them up with a bow for him if he wants. The way I see it, it isn't theft to take something he never asked us for, and it'd be beyond stupid for us to leave an asset this valuable on the table. That may be true, but you weren't supposed to open the vault. Look, at the end of the day, this is the commander's decision, so what's it gonna be, Fox? Do we pretend that we never found this mech and turn the whole thing over to House Liao, or do we take the Star League era mech for ourselves and accept the consequences? Hmm, let me take a look at our options. So the first decision is hold the base and the mech for Tianyu. We don't steal from our clients, period. We're going to pretend that we never saw the mech and complete the job as directed. Or we could take the mech for ourselves, ris risking Tianyu's ire. We never technically agreed to give up that mech and they never asked for it. Box it up, Yang, it's ours. One moment, let's me have a bit of a think about this one. All right, okay, after pacing around and thinking about it, I have decided that we are going to leave the mech for Tianyu. And you might say, no, Fox, let me tell you why. Although it is true that a Star League, a genuine Star League Griffin is an amazing battle mech, the problem is that we are doing this Flashpoint too deep into our career mode. And although an incredibly amazing reconnaissance, basically a battle recon, the problem is that the Griffin is still a 55 ton mech and a 55 ton mech is just not gonna cut it for the kind of missions we're doing. When we're doing like four skull missions, I, I need to bring battle mechs that carry more firepower than what a 55 ton mech can bring. So if we had done this earlier, when I was still using heavy mechs mainly, I, the, okay, the Star League Griffin could compete with a heavy mech, but the Star League Griffin will not compete with an assault mech, at least in terms of the high level missions where we need extreme firepower and whatnot. It's it's not even the defense. Like the Star League Griffin would be very hard to kill. It would be very evasive, but it wouldn't have the punch necessary. Like it would have, like once again, it would have the punch by heavy mech standards, which is saying something since it's a 55 ton mech. But uh, we need like, absolutely ruthless firepower right now stuff like the um the annihilator so the issue is that we're just getting this mech too late in the game so i am going to leave it and maybe we'll be compensated with something we're not going to get something as good as the griffin but maybe we will get something decent doing it this way and also we could say you know like we're professionals you know we get the job done right so we don't steal from our clients, period. We're going to pretend we never saw the mech and complete the job as directed. Yeah, 
Okay. The damn shame leaving a prize like this behind, but you're the boss. We'll package everything back up and make it look like we never found anything. But you know what? That's about all the time that I have for... Oh, might as well just click this button real quick. Boom! There. Finished up some of the work on the Highlander. It's just its Gauss rifle is not operational. But we will continue where we left off in the next episode. I'm guessing the next episode is the final one. And, um, yeah, we'll probably just launch into another Flashpoint because, you know, we need to start cranking it. Some of these, like, mid-difficulty ones, you know, like, we are just so far ahead of them. Like, we could just crush these Three Skull missions like they're no joke. So I really just want to start cranking a few of these out. Anyways, let me know what you think. What would you have done? What, what decision would you have made? And not just what decision, what would have been your logic for the decision that you would have made also the starly griffin looks really cool i believe it has um a two missile racks one on each shoulder instead of the lone missile rack it's sad to let it go but you know ah just the order of the missions that we got anyways let me know what you think down in the comment section let me know what decision you would have made and why like the video if it was entertaining and of course remember that you don't have to be good to get good